Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we're going to be doing another episode of making a system around a quasi star. So today we're probably going to be doing the finale of uh, making the system as we've got a few more adjustments to do, some moons, rings, things like that, maybe another planet or so um, as well here. But yeah, before we get started guys, we hit 18,000 subscribers last night, so a massive, massive thank you to you all. And yeah, I really, really appreciate it. I mean, it means the world. It's absolutely amazing. It's absolutely awesome. Yeah, just a huge thank you um, to you all um, for that as, yeah, we're getting close to the big 20 now. So that's um, definitely going to be exciting as we were. My estimate, probably spring next year, but we don't know how well or how well or bad things go. So yeah, who knows? But yeah, that all said and done. Massive thank you once more, but let's get into this. So we'll go over a little, uh, we'll go through a look of what we have got so far. Just a little revision. So if we go down to uh, the planets, which I can't even see because the quasi star is so big. So if we go all the way down here, we have a particle by the looks of it. Hang on, where, where are our objects? Come on, objects. Where, whereabouts are they? Trying to trying to find them. Where are they? Uh, aha, right. Oh, yeah, they are so small. Right, so here we are. So we'll see last episode, we added our green gasser in here. So the green uh, brown dwarf. We've obviously got all of these uh, planets we uh, snuck in as well from the previous two episodes as well. We've got this uh, ice giant that we made. Obviously onto the Rockies um, stuff down here. So we've got all of these guys looking very nice indeed here. So there's the full lineup. Hyper seems to be looking a little different. Looks like something's gone wrong with its atmosphere. So we'll have to give that a little... Uh, Look, yeah, what's happened here? That looks like it's going to need a revise. Or something seems to have broken there. We did have an update between last video. We are now on update 26.1.1 instead of 26.1. So we've had a version increase. I'm, going, I'm guessing bug fixes and stuff like that. Obviously, we've got all these guys. We may have to readjust some of them. This one is looking slightly different to last time, but it may just be the lighting mode room. But yeah, we've still got the full lineup here. We've got that red world. That was really, really cool. The purple one from episode one. And then we've got our uh, snow world here. But yeah, first of all, we're going to do a bit of management just to fix everything up. So it looks like hyper. There's some problem here. So let's see if we can uh, fix it. So what's going on here then? So the, it is... Okay, so let's see what's happened. It looks like it's actually turned into a gas giant on accident here. So we are going to need to replace it with a brand new version. So replace, right. Let's see if this works, because this this uh, replace object button has been quite buggy in the past. It looks like it's got a Jupiter texture right now, which is um, pretty interesting. So let's go hyper. Right, there we go. Replace. Right, let's add that in. Is that is that a new one or is that the same object? I have got no idea. Maybe maybe it's broken forever with this update, which would be a real shame. But I don't know yet. So let's just quickly uh, try it. So that was a gas giant texture with an atmosphere. It was a rocky planet with a gas giant texture. Uh, let's try adding it in. That's what it should look like. So if we place it in here. Yeah, it's broken. The update has broken the hyper object. Oh, that's a shame. So yeah, it's tinted. It's a tinted gas giant. The atmosphere no longer works. And it appears to register as a gas giant now. It didn't do that before. So if we just place a... This is a fresh, fresh one, non-modified. So if we look here. I don't remember that having hydrogen before. I, I think something has uh, something has happened here. That that is not right. It looks like a Jupiter texture now, but with a yellow tint on it. So kind of a shame, but it looks like that object is permanently broken, unfortunately. So I have to uh, just zoom out and just leave it the way it is. There's nothing we can do about it. So we'll just have to uh, move on from it. So where are we heading next? I did want to head to this world over here because I think something was up over here that we needed to investigate. I think it looked like it was frozen. I th oh, no, this one was supposed to be frozen, if I remember right. So... I think it was, yeah, this, okay, right, so we had that one, I think it was Captain B, yeah, this one I think needed some adjustments, let's have a look, so you have still got your ocean by the looks of it, yeah, it's a little uh, buggy with the ice, but we'll leave that, that's fine, and I think this one was supposed to have oceans, if I remember right, I'm not, I'm not too sure, I can't remember, I really, really can't remember, what, uh, or is it the light, is it light blue, ah, liquid water, Okay, so then no, it did have the oceans. No, I've just been a fool. I wasn't looking at it properly. So we've got that there. So we'll leave that the way it is. Not going to modify that. That's fine. Right, so we'll go back to... Yeah, we'll go back to realistic now. Right, so now we can get on to adding some new stuff. So that's just a bit of housekeeping I wanted to do there. Right, so back onto the star itself. I think we've got enough planets. I'm, I'm happy with the amount we've got there. But I think in a bit of moons. Some moons in here. Because a lot of people say I don't add moons. So I think we'll try a moon. So first of all, I'm going to head to Pascal itself. We're going to head all the way down here. I'm thinking a moon for this guy and maybe some of the gas giants as well. But I do want to add a little moon for this. So it doesn't have to be anything spectacular. It just has to be a simple moon. So I'm going to go for random moon. Random small moon, actually, I think. And pause the simulation. I'll put it at 
Don't want to make it too far. Uh, menu, I didn't ask you to close. Right, so let's put it there. We'll just see how... Okay, so we can't have it too far away from Pascal. So we'll have a, uh, a fair distance. We'll put it but maybe there. How about that? So just a nice little small moon. If we head down here, there it is. I'm not really too fussed about the color options for it. Um, we'll give it a custom interface, though, so there we are. Brighten it up. We'll make it a desert. So let's go over, like, a sandy, sort of orangey, sort of yellowy color. So just, yeah, de desert-like world. Not much really going on here. We'll go to studio mode so we can see the colors properly. So there we are. That's our, that's our world now. So, yeah, desert yellow. Let's just try and get it exactly right. So just yeah, sandy colors, just bright, bright uh, shades of yellow there. So we've got a bit of sand. We'll have a darker color for some rocky areas as well. So, yeah, sandy, rocky world. Desert world, a cold, it could be a cold desert, it doesn't have to be a hot desert, so we can have a cold desert, got those weird lines, apparently you can reset the simulation for them to fix or something, it's kind of annoying we have to do that in the first place, because they should be fixed in this update, but it doesn't look like they are, so, right, there we go, there's all of that, obviously Pascal's already fine, so that will just happily orbit um, around Pascal now, so let's just have a look, looking good, so yeah, that's uh, looking good, Pascal seems to be a little warm on temperature gauge, so we'll have to uh, give a little increase in its albedo by the looks of it, so let's just give it a little... Uh... 0.08, that should cool down a little bit, because that is a little warm for my liking there. So let's reset it to 50 degrees, I'm guessing that's going to warm Oh, the snow's reappeared on it as well, looks good with a bit of snow. That's a little too much there. But yeah, well, that'll that will probably uh, cool down eventually, or warm up again, so we'll just leave that the way it is, that's fine. Right, so that's got a little moon. Uh, where are the gas giants? I want to head to the gas giants. So I think the, the further away from the star, I think maybe you should have some more moons. We'll go by like our solar system, the sort of further you are, the more moons you're going to get. So I'll go with this one here. I think we'll add three moons for this guy. So we can try and add maybe an interesting one with an atmosphere or something as well. So we'll go with... Um, let's have one bit of a try and match the tilt of the parent planet as well. So let's uh, try going for something like that. So we'll go one. Then we'll go for a second regular size moon. So we'll go two. Then the third moon, we'll go for another small one. We'll go three like that. How about that? So we've got three moons sort of in tilt with the planet as well so click play let's just make sure it all runs that should all that should happily orbit gas giant without too many issues there so first object we have got curio right that looks like it's smoking up we're gonna have to remove any water get rid of that right there we go um albedo's fine uh obviously all the other stats are fine we don't need to modify too much it's already the color for it it's already looking fine got a bit of a smoke puff there but yeah i'm liking the way it's come out of the box so i'm just gonna leave it the way it is but we do need to modify interface colors because they just disappear if you don't add them which is really annoying Right, so next object out is looking quite interesting already. What's going on over here? Right, it's got an orange and blue world. Okay, what if we added a... Oh, that's oceans. Okay, I thought it was a blue surface. No, that's an ocean. Right, uh, atmosphere. I, I want to go for a little thing. Nothing too mental, but we'll go with a... Let's go with a 0 0.83 ATM, something like that. There we go. Atmosphere is enabled. Um, we do need to remove or close the menu and reopen it to add our atmosphere buttons. Right, uh, liquid water as well. Right, so what are we thinking? I'm liking the orange surface it's come with out the box, actually. So I'm going to just make that orange and white. So it's kind of like a Mars-like world, but with water. So uh, liquid water colour. What are we thinking for water? We could have, like, bright blue oceans. So that could be <laughs> quite interesting. So Neptune blue ocean. That could be really crazy. But, uh, yeah, I think I'll go over sort of... Not, not, like, the same shade as Pascal, which would be like this. I want to go over more, like, sky blue shades. A bright, bright tropical-looking ocean. Orange land. Uh, elevation, I guess I could have that as a sandy sort of yellow um, for like a beach or something. But it's a very sort of hot, hot, tropical sort of world. It's the vibe I'm getting from this. So I'm going to leave it like that. Uh, city lights, uh, now nah, I'm all right. Uh, atmosphere, we'll go with, I'll go, I'll go with a nice deep blue on that. I'm not seeing much of it at the moment. Did I, did I turn it off? I know. No, it is, it is there. I don't know why it's not showing much though. Um, so that's all fine. Atmosphere, cloud color. Maybe I need to just add more atmosphere pressure to it for it to uh, increase. Let's uh, try that. So let's go down. Right. ATM. Let's go over 1.2. So it makes the cloud show. Well, I don't know why the atmosphere is not showing. Should I just leave it the way it is then? What temperature? A uh, minus 270 degrees. That might explain it. Right. Oh, no. It's still not really functioning. Right. Okay. I wonder why that's doing it. Oh, no. I can see it now. It is showing up. Okay. Uh, mass. We're going to go over a little larger. So we're going to go 0 0.8 Earths. It is all turned to an ocean well now. Right, let's just make sure that doesn't... Got to make sure it doesn't upset the orbit. It's a 0.8 Earth. We do need to remove some of that ocean. Uh, that was too much ocean. So let's add it back. Looks like the world's gone all weird now with the surface grid stuff, but we'll just leave it the way it is. Okay, so I'll leave it like that. Uh, I'll buff it up to 20 degrees. Uh, the snow won't go away, so we're just going to uh, just hide that completely because snow is very annoying these days. Uh, appearance. Snow, where, where's snow? Snow, get, get out of here, snow. 
There we go. So let's get our tropical looking well back. I'm happy with the way that's looking. Atmosphere colour is very hard to spot. It is there though. Let's, let's just try to change it to another colour. Yeah, any any colour we're putting apart from white seems to be quite hard to spot. Let's try uh, what about the other colours. That's just quite hard colour to spot at the moment. I'm guessing with our studio mode. If I try uh, realistic uh, simulation. No, it's not simulation. No, it's a view. Realistic. Oh, you can see it. It is there. Okay, I'm going to leave it like that. I'm happy with the way that's turned out. So tropical sort of desert-like sort of world there. All right, and then the last world out here, we've got Mol over here. So how are you looking? Right, uh, just quickly do your interface up so it's not doing anything really. Okay, so this one looks like it's got some patches of water on it, but I'm not going to go too crazy with atmospheres and stuff. I'm going to leave it with no atmosphere, but it's going to keep, it's going to retain the water on its surface. Um, Silk, so, mate, what colour should we go with? Frozen ice world? Let's do that. So very, very cold white surface it's already freezing it's only 307 uh, kilometers wide um for radius albedo will have it very high so it's going to reflect a lot of light so that'll be that will retain a very cool color so, or cool not cool color cool temperature i should say all right and i'll yeah actually i will give you a uh interface liquid water we could have like a light icy white as well so light, lighter blue uh, interface we'll go with white uh, for this one we'll have a uh, orange so like that, uh, Curio, the original one. This one, I'll have you as a sort of military dark sort of green. So something like, yeah, something like that. There we are. So that's all three of those moons done around that guy. So that should all happily function now. We'll have to come back to it if we see any issues. Right, uh, so we've got two other, we've got one other planet here. I'm not going to add a moon to this one. We can sneak a moon in for here, I think. We'll go with a, let's do it like Mars. Let's have two asteroid moons. So they can be very, very minor objects. I don't think anything. This will go one and two. So we've got like Phobos and Deimos, basically. So we've got two moons. Uh, they are... We don't, we don't really need to do much to them. I mean, they are just tiny, tiny little things. So we'll just put them as white interface. So yeah, just two two frozen cold asteroid moons. Nothing too special there. But yeah, moons nonetheless. So there they go. Right. So there we go. Right. So that yeah, I'm going to leave green gas set. That is all done. All right. So onto the main star itself now. Right. So I'm thinking closer to the star. I mean, realistically, I mean, moons would probably dissolve. I mean, I don't know. I mean, these stars are really powerful. So I'm thinking all of these stars within the uh, sort of red zone, maybe no moons. I mean, we could maybe sneak one, but I think all of the area, all the objects inside the black area, because you can see it goes blue, green, red, and there's like a black area in the middle in, inside the red area. I'm thinking every planet inside the black area, I'm thinking no moons. But maybe stuff on the start in the red, we may be able to sneak a moon. So I think the first planet we'll do is LP12 here from last episode. Let's actually have a little quick check up on how it's doing. So this is our tidy locked world. Looking very fine indeed. Obviously, it's got its lights down the back here. Looking awesome. That is such a good looking planet. I really, really like that. Even though it's slightly changed from its original appearance because it was modded in an old version, I still think it looks really, really awesome. So we'll go with a small moon. We'll go one, one a small moon. Place it there. We'll go with a random asteroid moon a little closer. So like that. We go right, so hopefully that all sticks. Right, so moon. I'm thinking. I mean, we are quite close to the star here. So I'm thinking dark, sort of dark, scorched surface, a scorched earth. So I'm thinking deserty, wastelandy look. Yeah, I'm liking that. I'm gonna leave it the way it is, like that. The interface will have as a lighter sort of scorched, scorched sort of moon there. Asteroids, obviously asteroid. Not gonna change much here. White trail through it. It actually looks like it's dissolving already. So you can see, yeah, these moons. Not looking too hot. No matter what material it is, of course, if I do water, it's just going to go completely, but I, I do 100% silicate. At least we got rid of it, actually. But, yeah, I'll leave it like that. So it's just a tiny little asteroid in orbit. But, yeah, there we go. So we've got two moons around the LP-12 now. So let's just get a view of LP from uh, the moon's surface, actually. So if we land on the surface, people are still asking this to this day. You press the letter C on your keyboard to do this. Um, if we uh, look down as well. Right, so there are orbits, labels disabled. There's our planet in the sky. That is such a that's probably one of my favourites in the whole system, I have to say. I think that I think that one looks great. So yeah, LP12, awesome planet indeed. There you go. And also someone said something about atmospheres now show up if you land on surfaces. So let's see if that is actually true. Let's see if it holds up. So let's uh, land on here. Oh yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah. You can I mean, it's not fully blocking out the night sky, but you can really see, yeah, there is definitely a you can definitely see the atmosphere change in the sky. It's not just completely blacked out like the background used to be. Now you can actually see. Yeah, the atmosphere does. Yeah, it does. It does change it. You can see the clouds as well. Yeah, cool stuff. Uh, I do want to try that on Pascal, actually. So, so hold on this. this one's all done with the green atmosphere. So I'm expecting a green sort of tint in the sky. So let's see what we've got going on here. So we'll land, uh, yeah, we'll land it just over here. 
Right, so there we go. You can see, you can see the green haze does change the background a bit. So if we land on the surface, yeah, it's way more visible with the green atmosphere. But look at that green sky. Hell yeah, that's that is looking awesome. Uh, where's our where's our brown dwarf? I don't think it did this in the previous episode, so I'm guessing this feature is very new out of the box. Uh, brown dwarf. There's obviously the main star, brown dwarf. No, but where where, where is a good old brown dwarf? Right, so, ah, it's behind us. Right, see, so, yeah, we've got brown dwarf. We'll land. Uh, I guess we'll just land here. So I'm guessing at night time the atmosphere won't show up as much. Obviously, like it would in real life. I mean, you don't see the blue sky of Earth at night time, do you? Those city lights look awesome. Uh, and there's our brown dwarf. Awesome stuff. Let's see if we can try and catch the brown dwarf in the daytime, actually. So what we need to do is we'd have to wait for Pascal to actually rotate around. So we can't actually really do it. Um, I could try landing here, but I don't know. You can see yeah, you can see the slight green haze on the sunrise. That is actually really cool. But if we look behind, there's the brown dwarf. Main star. Awesome. That is that is awesome. Really, really happy with how that has turned out. So yeah, coloured skies now. That's cool. Any other planets we could try in here? Uh, oh, we could try the red one. Oh, what about the red one? Let's see what we got over here. Right, red planet. Red sky. Let's see what we've got. Oh, look at the red sky. Oh, wowee. Now that. Red clouds. Where's our star? Oh, that is, that is cool. Wowee. I wonder what atmospheres like Venus look like, actually. Because, obviously, Venus is a completely thick atmosphere. These are atmospheres that are transparent. You can see through them. What about a Venus-like planet? I don't think we've got one, have we? No. Oh, no, we've got to sneak one of those in somewhere. Maybe we could have it as a moon around one of the gas giants. So, orbits and labels on. Gas giant, right. Uh, LP12, we have just done you. So, objects further out from you. So, we've got Hyper there. We could use it around Hyper. We've got a Cap B, a Mole over here, Green Gasser. Okay, so they're the furthest objects out. So... I guess our best option is hyper. So let's uh, then we'll go around hyper. Real shame that this object's bust because it had its cool city lights and stuff last time. We'll just have to uh, leave it. Unfortunately, it's still got its tint. I guess. Oh, there's an object in, in the background over there. It's got a black trail. What have we got over here? I remember this gas. Giant. Yeah, look, you can see yeah the update. Whenever you save a simulation and you do not change the trail color, it blacks out your trail, so you can't see. So I was thinking, yeah, I'm sure there's something further out than the green gasser. So yes, go over here. Yes, right. So still getting plenty of sunlight. Right, I want to add a Venus-like object around you. Or Venus atmosphere, anyway. Have I got any template stuff? I did remove a bunch. What about this one here? Oh, God, that thing's big. Right, uh, so this one's got a blue one. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to lower it. So it's a thick Venus-like atmosphere. But yeah, that mass is way too big. So we'll go to one Earth. Uh, so this guy has got 1.49 Jupiter. Okay, one Earth will not have any problems. All to orbit. It's already pre-built for us. We don't need to modify anything. Let's see what the blue sky on this looks like. So if we land, it should be very, very... No? Oh. Oh, no way. So thick Venus-like atmospheres don't show up. We will try it on a stock Venus as well, because obviously this is modified. So, yeah, it is modified, so it'll be slightly different. But, yeah, we are going to try a good old... So there we are. So we are going to try a good old... Um, just regular Venus out of the box. So we'll go to a different object. So we'll have that... That, that one can have one moon. But I do want to go back to Hyper. Right, Venus. Just a bog standard Venus, brand new, out of normal menu, no modified objects. Hyper, there we go. So place you there. Venus is, uh, two, how, how big's Hyper? So Hyper's only 2.05 Earths. So this needs to be a lot smaller than that. So we'll go to uh, 0 0.1. So a lot smaller. Now calculate a radius on. We do not want that being anywhere near in mass. So we're going to lower it. 0 0.119 Earth. There we go. It's still got the atmosphere. We will reset the surface. Actually, no, no. I don't want to change anything with the characteristic. Okay, so let's just land on the surface. Nope, same, same protocol. It, any thick atmospheres do disappear, unfortunately. So it's only regular, regular normal atmospheres that still remain, which is a bit of a shame, I have to say. But oh well. Let's right, so just turn it to a gas giant, turn it back. So now we can uh, modify uh, the surface more. So there you go. That's what it looks like underneath now. And uh, re add our atmosphere. Like so. Oh, no, no, I don't want to do that. No, no, no. Uh, turn that off. How do I turn it off? No. Surface layer, realistic. Yeah, there you go. Right. Leave that alone. Right. Atmosphere is back on. Close it. Reopen it so we can modify the other stuff. Right. Atmosphere. What are we thinking? What are we thinking? So Hyper is originally green. I don't want to have anything green, I don't think. Let's go over. What about a red, dark, red, orangey sort of shade? Something dark, mysterious. Something like that. What do we think of that? Right. And obviously underneath the atmosphere. We'll go with the sort of colours Venus had before, so like oranges and yellow, like orange yellow shades, scorched sort of surface. It kind of is like a Venus clone, but with slightly different shades and stuff. So that's all we've got now. It's obviously still got the clouds named Venus. Let's see if we remove the 
Oh, no, actually, no, because we did modify. Actually, never mind. So, cloud color. I'll go with white clouds. So you can see the clouds a little more visible. So it's very sort of dark, mysterious. It is, yeah, a sort of Venus clone. No, 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 city lights, no way. Right, so, yeah, I'll roll with that. Happy the way that's looking. So just a scorched world. It's also going to still be very hot. I'm not going to change the atmosphere settings for now. So if I click play, this should warm up pretty quickly. Oh, what's going on? Well, calculated radius has been... Why is it getting bigger? It's haunted. Why is it doing that? What's making it get bigger? Is it receiving mass or what, what's going on? Lock radius. Now we've got enough light. Let's stop. Why, why is it doing that, huh? Or calc maybe it's calculated radius just being weird. Okay, it's cooling down in temperature now. Okay, how much atmosphere pressure have we actually got on this now? I mean, it may have changed because we did uh, modify the size of the object. Lower the albedo a bit. Uh, atmosphere, three hundred okay, sixty-two. Yeah, so that still should be getting it to. I mean, we're not the, we aren't the uh, closest thing ever. So I mean, I guess it could be a little cooler. I mean, it did have a high albedo. Let's just see where it ends up from there. I guess uh, rotational time. I do want to change that though, because obviously Venus rotates very slow. Looks like that's changed already since we modified the planet. But I'll put it down to one point one days. Oh no! Oh, that was orbital period. No, no, no. We do not want to do that. We want rotational periods. Let's just drag it down again. Don't want it too close. So, auto orbit. Right now, motion rose. Orbital period. We don't want that. Uh, rotational period. That's what we want. So, seven point nine eight months. So, uh, zero point six. Something a little different there. Yeah. So that will rotate round. There we go. So that, yeah, that's rotating now. Awesome. So that should, in theory, increase that temperature. But yeah, we'll leave it the way it is. It's still got what it needs. So it's got a massive hot patch on it now because we've made it to 100. But that will cool off eventually. So we'll leave that the way it is. We'll call it Venu for the time being as well. So that's in orbit of Hyper, the gas giant. I'm really not liking the new appearance of Hyper. I have to say, maybe we're going to try and, re try and restore it to its former glory. I mean, we can give it a slight modification for the green it used to be. So yeah, just a quick change. I mean, I'm, I don't want to spend too long doing it, but I'll just go with random colors, random yellows and greens for the whole object because otherwise it just looks like a tinted Jupiter and Hyper never was meant to be a Jupiter. So let's do it. Oh, it's a real shame that it's broken now. So yeah, by the looks of it, update 26.1.1 has broken modded objects that were rocky with a gas giant texture with an atmosphere. It looks like those are broken possibly forever i don't know if you modified it in the current version if it would do it or not but it looks like that yeah you saw when i put a new one in it shouldn't have been doing what it did so yeah who knows but yeah we can at least try and restore it closer to its former glory with uh, putting its uh, original sort of lime green back so just have to uh, gradually do it just replace out all of the jupiter colored bands it still is tinted after all so it will look um, slightly different to the colors i'm selecting but yeah it's the best we can do for it so just a quick little fix for it so yeah hopefully um it's looking better already but yeah we just need to get all the band colors uh done for it it's nice to see all the gas rotating though because obviously it didn't do that before because it was a rocky um object just with a gas giant texture but yes it looks like that breed may have died out eventually because that was quite one of the uh, one of the older modern breeds um, but yeah it looks like that may have uh, met its end of the current update which is unfortunate but i mean they, they, the gate developers do so they don't like the updates don't support modern objects all of the time so yeah, it could change stuff between updates as we have seen countless times oh well we'll just have to just move on with it i'm sure there'll be a new way to get around it but yeah that's um, that's looking a little better i mean yeah it's, it's a whole new object really at this point this is the hyper 2.0 on a quick budget i guess building it uh obviously i'm not to get in my uh i'm not being super accurate with the colors i'm i'm, I'm just spam clicking random colors to be honest so yeah, we'll just have to just see what we end up with because sometimes when you go random you could end up with something looking quite decent so yeah it's got the same amount of bands as the regular jupiter in the game as well so this uh should be should be pretty cool so here we are let's keep uh keep it up uh just yeah lime greens yellows i mean that's all fine i mean that's not looking that bad actually i mean i see a lot of greens on it but yes it's closer to what it should be um compared to what it was at the start of this episode so yeah there we go finishing touches now get it all done there you go so that's what we got I, there is some colors that are too yellow for my liking so i do want to downgrade them to a little more but turn this maybe more of a greenish shade I mean, the, the greens mix in there aren't looking too shabby actually so yeah what do you think of that i mean that's uh, yeah yeah how about that so that's our that's our new version um obviously we are on the starlight mode so if we go to um studio that's what it actually looks like so yes yeah, not, not not too bad nice green gas i mean quick build but yeah not not too shabby so there we go that is our Hyper 2.0. So we'll call it Hyper 2 because uh, obviously it's not the original one anymore. So there we go. Looking good. And obviously uh, Venu is in orbit of uh, the new Hyper. So there you go. Looking good. Orbit's label's off. 
there's our there is our parent planet um in the background there so yeah what do you think of that i think that looks um yeah, not not too bad so there we go so i think we'll sneak another moon around hyper as well so we'll go with one more uh venus i think i need to change its uh, thing now i'm gonna go over europa so we're gonna place yeah, europa further out uh, i'll keep its mass relatively the same i don't think i need to change much on it uh venus i need to quickly or venu i just need to quickly change your interface so let's just go with a dark red that works right europa right now what i want to do with you is remove all the water to begin with now europa is a very good one to modify when you do this uh, now that's the wrong thing now that's a complete failure of what i wanted to do right colors custom now what i want to do is i think it's high elevation i need to do no, no okay no no it's not no uh low is it low yes i want to go blacked out with a bright cyan what do you think of that okay or we could try black with cyan in the middle no no that def no it definitely looks better this way around i want to say so what do you think of that quick little build quick little easy one nothing too complicated but yeah europa is quite a fun one to modify and yeah you are definitely getting a light blue um one thing we can do as well is light blue atmosphere on it so it doesn't have to be anything crazy i mean uh 0.5 i'm not adding gonna add water i just want a slight atmosphere here so okay so you can see it yeah it's got one of those brown ones because that's the way it works it's got uh, we can leave it the way it is i don't need to change it too much surface uh, appearance no i want appearance down here atmosphere bright blue there you go quick little build very happy uh with that uh, clouds as well i guess but yeah there we go so that's a quick europa build what we do is with slight tilt Rotational period, I will want you to be a little faster than your normal. So go 0. Point, no, not point, 0. 0.7. 16 hours. It's not the fastest thing ever, but still relatively quick. So there you go. So let it just let it rotate. And then we click play. Maybe we click and play would help. So there you are. So there's our Europa. Nicely done. Orbit of hyper. Do you know what we can do as well? Is we can land on the surface of our new Europa and enjoy the blue sky. So let's just uh, close that labels and bands off of course there's our star orange star in the blue sky and then our parent planet over there there's hyper can we spot our other moon friend uh venu is there oh it's quite hard to spot actually right uh so you can see the orbit there we're not the closest to it ever but it is there that's very hard to spot actually what we could do is uh select our select a look, there you go right what we can do is we can move our moon so if we put labels on so you can see venu is there now what we can do is we can go to motion down here this one now we can move where we are in our orbit so there, there you are now you can see the sister moon so you just have to so we, we, remember no one else is moving it's just us moving they're on the horizon now can't go any further that. so there we go there's, there's a good view so we've got hyper there labels off we've got hyper and then you can see venu there so the, i mean they are a fair distance away from each other there's, there's a good view of the two combined so that's looking good so remember yeah i mean europa is quite a fair i mean it's over double the distance i'd say of venu over here but i mean from venu you can probably see europa quite easily i mean I, well i say that but obviously it's the further moon out but yeah you can you can see it you probably will be able to spot that um which is pretty neat so yeah there is venu and europa but i think we'll have to change the name of europa Where, where's europa gone europa there you go so um let's just call it pa europa so yeah pa right there we are not one for the naming but yeah there you go so right okay i'm very happy with the way yeah look at all the additions we made today right so we've got all the moons here so we started off today with i think it was curio or was it that one well, we started off with one so we've added all these today nice mix of stuff obviously we've got this blue one all the way out here around ubinus at the far end here so this was an old modern object this blue one long from long ago can't remember who made it but yeah there it is nice looking world so that's an orbit of this gas giant here i guess this gas giant does, deserves another moon or so so we'll go there uh, random moon we'll go closer and then random moon at a bigger distance away so how about that and what we can do is a gas dwarf moon put you even further out put you there right click play okay that all functions right so first of the moons i'm gonna go with an io sort of theme for this one so we're gonna go yellow shades of yellow and um actually let's actually get io in here itself we don't want any water on it it is an io build after all so i will go on a realistic lighting also so studio mode and oh, no, studio yep. there you go right so studio obviously we need to spawn in an io as a comparison so io hello 
let's put you here. It's a lot smaller. Oh, no, it's relatively the size of Io. It's a little bigger, actually. So there's Io. So I want to build a... I want to sort of build a replica of Io. So a volcanic sort of design moon. So we'll go with a... This might be quite hard to do. So high elevation. It's got to be a sort of yellowy shade. So somewhere around there. This one will go with a dark sort of... Oh, my God. Okay. I think this needs to be the primary color. Right. So we'll go... There's our yellow as our primary shade. So I don't like that. Our high elevation, I think we'll go... Yeah, okay, I'll roll black. I mean, it doesn't have to be exact same. And low elevation, we'll go with that sort of orangey sort of shade Io has. Obviously, it doesn't look anywhere as good as the original. Because obviously, the original's got a more detailed texture and stuff. But I'm thinking something like that. Nah, I think that definitely looks better as black. And then, uh... Yeah, okay, that's not, not too bad. I mean, uh... It, it, obviously, it's never going to be the same, is it? No, no two objects are going to be the same. But, I mean, we can give it a surface retexture, actually, so... Oh, that's looking a lot better. Oh, I like that one a lot. Yes. Yes, I am going to roll with that. I'm liking that. that. Especially that side of it. I think that looks great. I mean, comparing it to Io, I mean, it's sort of the same color sort of scheme, isn't it? So, yeah, I'm happy with that. So, yeah, this world, Io in theme, obviously, I think we should move it closer to the gas giant if it's meant to be like an Io. So, obviously, Io is getting crushed by Jupiter and squeezed and all its volcanoes and stuff. So, yeah, we are going to make you a lot closer to your parent. Not too close, of course, but somewhere around there. Okay, I'm happy with that. It's not large in size. So this world's sort of getting punched up by its own planet. Being, uh, it's actually warming up from temperature. Now, I wonder what's causing that. Because, obviously, we are pretty far away from our parent star. I mean, if we look at the planet itself, we are 5,000 years out. So, yeah, pretty pretty far. I, my guess is this is tidal heating. Now, let's have a look. Energy flow. Fusion. Stellar. Okay. Tidal. Now, I'm guessing that the tidal... I mean, it's getting some from the star, but... Maybe the tidal is giving it a bit of temperature as well. Who knows? But yeah, we're going to leave that the way it is. Happy with the way that's looking. So we've got like a little mini IO sort of world there. Looking good. Uh, and then uh, interface. Oh, I see orbit stretching here. Okay, so it looks like we need to be careful. Right. So this has got 0 0.3 Jupiters. Now, its mass is changing. Look at its mass is changing as well. What's, what's that all about? What? <laughs> Calculate. Okay, but I do want to lower that. Yeah, that, that's quite annoying. Right, so hopefully that won't change more. Okay, that's at one Earth. Okay, yeah, I don't want that being one Earth. We're going to half that. Half it again. What? Oh, oh, no, no, no. It's a, now a tiny little minor object. Well, all right. Now, nah, I need a little bigger there. Okay, I'll leave you at that. 0 0.2. Yeah, okay, that's fine. So put that along. Right. So hopefully the orbits behave. And then now we're taking a big jump out to Minas Tun over here. Next moon out. I'm going to leave it bog standard. I'm going to go bog standard with that one. Slight interface change. It kind of reminds me of Ceres. It's got like a bluish color. You can amplify the blue a bit. So, yeah, kind of kind of like Ceres in a way. So, yeah, I'm going to leave it like that. Bog standard. Doesn't have to be anything special for that one. Now, onto our gas moon out here. So, the gas dwarf moon. Obviously, gas dwarf It's not going to be the largest thing ever. So, we are going to make it relatively small. 1.4 Earth. It's now going up by itself. Haunted. Uh, so there we go. 1.8. 1, 1. It's still doing it. What, what's that? What? I'm not clicking it. Hands off the mouse and keyboard. Please explain. <laughs> what's that? That didn't do that before. It's never done that. Very, very peculiar stuff indeed. I guess I'll lower the mass. Oh, it's smoking up. Ah, hoo hoo. Right. Let's make it a little bigger. We don't want it smoking up like that, so... I mean, it's still relatively small, isn't it? I mean, it's still smaller than most. I mean, radius. I mean, Earth's uh, Jupiter's 0 0.3 Jupiter's... I mean, uh, Gas dwarf, I mean, is it really... Eh. I do want it to be around one Earth, though. So 1 point... Oh, look, 0 0.9 Earths. Lock button, no more stupid mass changing nonsense for you. So there we go. I'm going to make it a ice... Sort of an ice giant dwarf. Or ice dwarf, I should say. So light blues, pale sort of shade. It's kind of like a Uranus sort of theme I'm going to go with. So sort of bright light blues, something like that. So we're trying to go for like a sort of realistic look at it. Yeah. Give that it's like band increase as well so so it's sort of pale shades of light blue what are we thinking like gr grayish sort of silverish grayish light blue so almost like a uranus but it's slightly different so what are we thinking there and then uh this one yeah the colors are a little green there a little more blue yeah blue 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 don't want any of the greens Put a more deep blue in there. This one's a okay. Maybe for more sky-like blue, more Neptune-y blue in there. Have a few mixes or anything. This color here seems to be a bit of a change. Right down here onto this one. 
Ooh, it does look a little colourful in the top now. Now, a little more pale with shades up there. There you go. Uh, down here, right. So that's in the south. Now, what, what's this middle colour? Is it, is it this one? Okay, this. Okay, so. So, this is a light icy blue. And, um. Okay, yeah, yeah, I'm liking that. Okay, that green needs to go, though. I do not like that green one bit mixed in with it. So, there we go. It's kind of like a. Almost like a realistic Neptune build now. I mean, I'm getting vibes of that, but a little more blue in the north. I'm thinking, yeah, a little bit deeper blue. So it's like a bluish greenish. It's almost like a mix of like Neptune Uranus colours. Sort of the sort of what I'm getting from this now. And then uh, last colour at the bottom. I mean, yeah, I'll leave you as like a whitish. I mean, it doesn't matter if we've got a few whites in there. Well, that was more of a blue. Uh, this shade here. Let's have like a, a whitish band in there as well. I get it. Not too bad. I don't want it being too standout white, but. Something like that. And then up here, maybe another white band. Yeah, what do you think of that? A little gas dwarf. I know some of you guys are like the gas dwarf stuff, so... What do you think of that? I mean, it's not only a quick little build, but... I don't want to spend all day just uh, doing one planet. But yeah, I'm happy with the way that's looking there, so... Yeah, what do you think of that? So like a little horta, little gas dwarf sort of world. Uh, and then... Um... Yeah, or ice, ice gas dwarf. So, or ice, ice dwarf, I should say, not ice giant, ice dwarf. So, what do you think of that? That blue's still looking a little too much for me, and this one as well. Yeah, a tad more. Yeah, what do you think of that? Yeah, I'm going to roll that. I'm happy with that. So, there's Horta, so our gas dwarf moon. So, now if we look at the lineup, we've got a nice, um, decent lineup of stuff there. I mean, that's uh, pretty good. So, planets, uh, yeah, we've got the full list. Yeah, I'm happy with that. So, zooming out. Okay, so we've added some moons around some of the stuff. I don't want moons around everything, like the planets in the uh, red zone. So anything, yeah, hyper and further out. Captain B, I reckon we can sneak an Earth-like moon around there. So just a simple rock. This world may need a bit of uh, re-management. So we're 15 degrees. Let's just turn off the down snow. Yeah, that's better. So, right. And a simple Earth-like moon. So what we can do, actually, is use the Earth moon. Place it. Place it there. That's not too bad. Earth Moon. Then what we can do to you is simply give you a uh, slight, um, slight um, color change. So surface custom. So what if we have a white in the craters with a darker sort of X? Oh, oh, yeah. I'm happy with that. I just quick build out the box. Happy with that. I'll make it a little different to the moon as well, a bit slightly larger. So. There we go. And then, yeah, that is the moon of Cap B, which is probably the closest to Earth we have in here. Maybe apart from Pascal, but, I mean, colour-wise, visually-wise, I'd say Cap B probably is the closest we have to an Earth. Because, I mean, in, in reality, it is a uh, super-Earth possible exoplanet. So, yeah, yeah. So we're giving it Earth-like sort of world, Earth-like moon to go with it. Fair distance apart. But, yeah, there you go. I'm happy with that. So we'll call it uh, we'll call it the Cap Moon for Captain B. So, uh, Cap Moon. There we go. That's fine. Nothing too... Uh, Interesting with the names, but yeah, Cat B, si similar sizes to Earth, a little larger than Earth, actually. Uh, Stats-wise, 86 and 42, I mean, not, not too shabby, I mean, yeah, uh, this is probably the closest Earth-like world sort of thing we've got going, so yeah, happy with that. Right, now onto the finishing touches, so background, um, I'm just going to keep the good old, I think I'll keep the good old Milky Way, honestly, so quasi-star inside the Milky Way. Now, onto the interesting part, an asteroid belt, where would an asteroid belt go? But what I could do is go for an Oort cloud kind of thing. So further out than now uh, Eubinus, or maybe Eubinus is inside the Oort cloud sort of area. So because remember this is quite a lot. This is compared to our own solar system. This is quite a lot bigger. I will throw in a save as well as I have been a little naughty not saving this episode. So we'll go save, replace. Very happy with the way this is turning out. Right, and on to the finishing touch. So we can have got plenty of attempts at this. So now which which one actually is it? Is it? That's not. I don't know which one. Is it a, I need the sphere. Sphere, sphere, sphere. Where's sphere? Is it this one? Uh, I just want to check. Yeah, I'm going to have that as a sort of Oort cloud thing. Or do I just go for, I'll just go for a regular asteroid belt, actually. Control Z, undo that. Asteroid belt. I'm just going to go for a really big asteroid belt as our Oort cloud kind of thing. So... Right, so how? I need to check quickly how far away is Eubinus from our star. I need to get the numbers. So Eubinus here. You are... So how is how many AU is that? So about five thousand three hundred AU. Okay, right. So back to you. Add ring, asteroid belt. So we're gonna go with uh, inner radius five thousand oh uh, seven hundred. 
No, not 57. So 5,700. 0.099% of a light year. And you know what we should do is? Light year. One light year. Add two quasi star. Uh, colors. I will go over white ring. I don't know. White ring made from iron. Something just out of the other. White ring from iron. Yep. Add ring. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at that. There's our, so that'll be our little Oort cloud equivalent. What do you think of that? So, voila. Close. Close that. So it's surrounding our system. Look at that. So it sort of starts. Eubinus is sort of in the... Uh, I mean, it's quite hard to see them if we go to uh, we'll go to flashlight. Probably the best one. Uh, studio flash. Okay, so there you go. So you can see the ring. So yeah, some of them are in that area where Eubinus is. You can see there's one here. Quasi star ring vertical, so you can see, yeah. So there's some in there, but obviously the further out you go, there's the big bunch of them at the edge of the system there. So there we are. And I think one thing we can do as well, I think one of the planets should get a set of rings. We don't usually do it. Which which gas giant do we want? So uh planets, right. I'm not no, none of the planets near the star. Hyper possible candidate, Eubinus. What about this one? I burst it. So this is around Green Gasser. This is the one we were at earlier. This was an ice giant. That could do with a Uranus ring. Actually, no, we'll go, we'll go two ring sets. So I think in one ring around this one, and then one ring around Eubinus. I think that's our biggest planet in the system as well. So we'll go here. I don't want to make it too laggy, because I do like my systems to run. I want a Uranus ring system around you. Uh, you are, size-wise, how are you compared to a Uranus, actually? I need to just check the size of a Uranus. So Uranus is... 3.98 Earths. This is 5.98. So we need to take that into consideration so it does need a larger set of rings. Right. So over here, Earths. We'll do it in Earths just to make it easy. Okay, so in a radius, we want six. We'll go six Earths and the outer radius will go to ten. Something like that. Add ring. Oh no, control Z. That is way too small. We're going to double this up to 30 Earths. Yeah. There you go. You're in this ring set. Obviously a little more faint than normal. But yeah, set of rings around it. There you go. So, looking good. Obviously, flashlight mode is on. There's a good view of them. If you look carefully, yeah, you, you, yeah they are there. But, yeah, you can see them. But, but, but best to look behind with the Milky Way background. But yeah, they are there. Looking good. Right, so we've got that one's ring system. It looks like one of the moons has gone a little... What's happened with Mole over here? So, is it one of the larger moons interrupting? Maybe this guy here being a little bit of a naughty one. So, what we can do, actually, with you is we can buff up your orbital period times two. And then lower this one's orbital period down. Like so, and then obviously we need to uh, just auto orbit to fix its. Um... Yeah, yeah, that's okay. That's, that's fine. I mean, it's slightly different to its original, but yeah, okay, that should be fine. That should fix that, right? And then lastly, we need to obviously okay. So zoom out from Green Gasser, Eubinus, the final planet. So we're gonna go have a nice Saturn set of rings for the U. It's already tilted. We'll go to realistic mode as well. Back to realistic. Yep, looking good. Uh, I'll give the planet a slight more of a Saturn-like tilt. So it's a bit something like that, right? Rings, obviously, we need to check the start. So 1.49 Jupiter is quite a lot bigger than the, the old Saturn. So Saturn rings, it's 1.49 Jupiters. Keep that in mind. So Jupiter will go of 1.6 Jupiters out to, I guess, three Jupiters. Uh, what was that? So three. Uh, add ring. Oh, so wait. Oh, it's starting to get laggy. Oh, right. Okay. Control Z. Undo that. Right, so we'll go to six Jupiters, but we are going to lower our particle count. So something like that. Now controls that that's still a little... Uh, then we'll go the manual white. Yes, hey, there you are, okay. The rings are a little close to it, so I'll go to this, the two Jupiters. Control Z, undo it again. Still too close to the planet for my liking. Control Z, uh, go to four Jupiters, to six Jupiters. How about that? Yes. Well, that's still the nah, nah, nah. But yeah, three Jupiters again. Eh. Yeah. Maybe just a tad closer with 2.25 Jupiters. Oh, well, hang on. Where's, it? Where's the ring? Uh, it is there. You can see it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm happy with Yeah, I'm going to go with that. Awesome. So close. Do it. Simulation still running fairly... I mean, it's not too laggy. Um, also, we can go back to good old flashlight mode. So we can actually see the real deal now. So flashlight. There you go. So there, there's a full look of it. So you can see it's got its rings. Nicely bright white. So they're easier to spot. But there you go. So that has got its ring system finally. So good stuff. Get the save in with the rings. So we'll call it. Uh, we'll just call it uh, rings. I always have two separate sims for the rings and no rings. So there you go. 
Good stuff indeed. So there we go. And that is the quality system done. Uh, I'm, that's that's it. There's my finished project. I'm happy with that. So line up of them all now as we uh, finish up. So go all the way down here. I'll see quality star onto the first object. So we saw, yeah, largest. Actually, this is our largest. Well, I'll say brown dwarf. Actually, this is not a gas giant. So the largest gas giant is actually fire deluxe, followed by Ubinus down here. Then we've got um, Ubinus rings. We've got banded 47, which is that fiery one, uh, down here to Ibersi. Then we have hyper. And then we've got this world here. That was one of the ones in episode one. There's uh, Cap B. There's our new Ven Moon. Uh, Mole, we saw that one last episode. There's our crazy LP12. That's definitely my favourite in this system. Uh, we've got Salby. Pascal coming a close second my favourite. I think this is probably one of my favourites as well we made today. Uh, Horta. This red one as well, also one of the highlights to me. Um, we've got this one here. I do like this moon as well. I guess that could be one of the highlights of the moons. Nice uh, blue one here. I'll see the other moons. Uh, I didn't want to go to the quasi star ring. Thank you. Um, <laughs> back down to the list. Let's uh, lock back on. So we're at the purple colored one, weren't we? So, so all the way down here. There you go. So onto the smaller moons. So there's Venu again, actually, there. Right, so I've got to mix up with another one. So there, there's um, all the uh, yeah, smaller moons down here. So there's Mole. All of them. Yeah, and then along to the asteroids at the very bottom here. So yeah, there, there's our uh, there's our list of moons. This one is the smallest moon by far, and we already have an object with that name as well. But yeah, there you go. So there is my quasi star solar system, guys. So yeah, let me know what you think down below in the comments. Did you anything you would have changed, added, or just general feedback in general? Let me know what you think. So we've got rings, we've got moons, we've got we've got a uh, Oort cloud like Kuiper belt in the far reaches of the system as well. Yeah, let me know. So we've kind of got a bit of everything apart from maybe a black hole or something as well, but. Yeah, I'm happy, very happy with the way that has turned out around our mighty Quasi Star. So yeah, there is my uh, attempt at a system around a Quasi Star, guys. So I really hope you enjoyed uh, this three-part series. And yeah, let's see if we can go for 50 likes on the final part of this series, guys. Let's see if we can do it. And also subscribe for more. Helps on the journey to 19,000 subscribers now. Again, a massive thank you for 18, guys. That is absolutely awesome stuff. So huge, huge thanks for that. And yeah, guys, so that all said and done, make sure you all have a great day out there. Stay safe, and I will catch you in the next video. Goodbye.